I grew up in a place where it was a pretty bad neighborhood. They had gangs and a lot of bad things going on. My mom decided that she didn't want me to go to the school that I was zoned to. So I would have to wake up at about five o'clock, catch actually three buses. So it took me about an hour and a half to get here. A calculated risk for a then 12-year-old boy. But I think the school was worth it. The school is Harmony Science Academy, three buses and a world away from Brandon Okafor's life in the A-Leaf area of West Houston. Everywhere we want to open schools, parents are lining up to come to Harmony. With more than 30,000 students on 48 campuses and growing, Harmony is now the largest charter school in the state of Texas and one of the largest in the nation. I strongly believe that for any nation to be competitive globally, you have to continue to have innovation. And innovation really comes from in, in the field of math, science, and engineering. Harmony opened its doors in 2000 with a focus on STEM education and quickly made its mark. They're knocking the cover off the ball. They are teaching reading, writing, and arithmetic, and they're doing it at a level that is difficult to improve upon. Brandon Okafor can attest to that. The little boy who used to get up at 5 a.m. and catch three city buses to get to school every day is now a hydrogeologist at AECOM, a Fortune 500 global engineering design firm. Coming here put things in a, a bigger perspective. Three, two, one, liftoff of Space Shuttle Discovery. Perhaps no one understands thinking beyond one's limits better than astronaut-turned-STEM educator Dr. Bernard Harris. The nonprofit Harris Foundation has set its sights on tackling the nation's dismal record on STEM education, providing interactive STEM programs aimed at minority students. Harris applauds Harmony's founders for recognizing and addressing the critical need in this emerging population long before STEM became a buzzword. To focus an educational institution to reach the economically disadvantaged uh, in communities of, uh, around this city and in other places um, was, was great. I mean, it was uh, um, incredibly uh, uh, foresightful. The future of this world requires that we have knowledgeable people in STEM. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, STEM jobs are growing faster than any other U.S. sector. 8,650,000, that's the estimated size of the STEM workforce by 2018. Available jobs in the field are set to increase 17% by 2024 compared to just 12% growth in non-STEM employment. Even so, interest in STEM fields remains concentrated among white and Asian men, while the emerging workforce is increasingly minority and female, like recent Harmony High School graduate Denise Aguilar. Going to college, graduating, getting into medical school, and then becoming a pathologist. I'm Denise Aguilar. Denise has set a clear path for her future one her parents envisioned before she was born. My parents are from Mexico, and they immigrated to the United States about 20 years ago. My mom did go to college in Mexico, but it, since she came to the United States, her degree doesn't really mean anything. My dad didn't go to high school, though, so... Denise's parents have made a life for their family cleaning houses. Determined that their daughter would have the best life possible, they enrolled Denise in Harmony, where she excelled, like so many others who came before her. How do I define success? I mean, they've got the numbers. You look at their graduation rates, you look at their test rates, you look at the acceptance to all the major universities. 98% of Harmony students graduate, and 100% of those graduates are accepted to college, ready to fill the jobs of the future. And the majority of those students represent the country's changing demographics. 
currently uh, more than 50% of our you know, graduates end up in STEM fields. I think that's to me is, is, is a huge success uh, because the national average is about uh, 15, 17%. This is not just about you know making sure that African Americans and Latinos and Hispanics are educated. This is about uh, how do we preserve our livelihood as a nation. It is very important that we continue to grow because we get so many thousands of applications every year. Every year, more than 30,000 students who want to follow in the footsteps of Denise. I'm really grateful of everyone that's helped me on my path going to college. And Brandon. They really tried their best to teach us things that other people will probably overlook and not even think about. And that's what makes the school so wonderful. I think that they have broken the mold and they've done it through hard work dedication and motivating and empowering teachers. We're going to UT Austin! The end result? Excited, inspired, well-educated students, poised and prepared to provide the skilled STEM workforce needed to lead America and the world toward the future. <laughs>